right, so I got the trailer. Uh, they knocked 20% off because of the damage to the box and everything. And now I'm going to transport it home. So. All right, so I've gotten it home and uh, I'm about to open it right here. And I've already weighed it. So in the box and everything, it weighs about 30 pounds. I expect it to get a little bit lighter without the packaging material, but here it is. And like I said, this particular model uh, goes for about 80 bucks at the sporting goods store. But because of this repackaging job, which they said happened at their warehouse, uh, but the manager was more than happy to give me 20% off on it. So, oh wow. Inside the box, a bag with two of the wheels. Let me show you these. So the bag has two of the wheels. They look like either the front or the, probably the front wheels and the attaching hardware to attach them. But they are these plastic wheels, but they've got a rubberized middle section on it. So it's not just rolling on plastic, it's rubberized, and it looks like it's just a simple hole through the plastic wheels. So you can probably replace these wheels, which I may look, up, look into doing, but we'll see how these perform. Then you have the actual wagon. Folds up to a pretty good size. I would expect it to uh, oh, the instructions are actually a tag hard sewed to the wagon. Actually, it looks like anybody who has any experience with baby cribs. the floorboard it's a uh, fabric but it's got hard hard panels in it so well let me adjust the camera so that you can see me open this thing up Says. Good. I was wondering about this. So it looks like the front wheels are pivotable, but the back wheels, which are the ones that you have to add, are fixed, which is good for me deciding to use this as a trailer. Extendable handle. It actually has even further extension on it. That's pretty cool. And this particular model has these two cup holders at the front. So that's really awesome. Now, I got this particular model because it's marketed as an outdoor cart, collapsible, but it has a carrying capacity listed of 225 pounds. And seeing as, and seeing as how I need to keep everything within the 
uh, guidelines that I set. So it does have a bottom in it, and it's a fabric bottom with a pull handle on it. And it basically, it opens and collapses like one of those uh, field chairs, which is pretty cool because it goes down. And then obviously, notice I haven't read any instructions yet, but you can place this solid floorboard down in it. And now I have a rigid floor in it and this heavy duty fabric outer casing. So it's pretty cool. Uh, looks like looks like the fabric casing is even removable too. It's got these Velcro Velcro wraparounds, the support poles. So you could probably remove this for uh, cleaning or what have you. So here it is, the runabout trailer out of the box. See for the modifications to hook it up to the runabout. All right, so here I have it preliminarily set up uh, to test on the runabout. Uh, all I did was I used some paracord wrapped between this support and the handle to stop it from sliding back and forth and that gave me the perfect length it's actually just lashed up in here uh, around the luggage rack on the runabout right now for testing purposes I'll come up with a more permanent solution later if this works but here it is and uh, we're gonna test it all right so I did a successful test run and I couldn't get any footage of it because I needed both hands to uh, kind of keep where I was going because I was actually pedaling the entire time. I did not test it with the electric motor. I did find that the trailer was not any harder to pull, although there is no weight in it. One problem that I did notice is that the front wheels tend to wobble while I was underway. Um, but I think that's a combination of two things. Number one, the attachment points here, I think take a lot of the wagon's weight off of the front tires. And since there was no weight in the wagon, really, um, that the, the tires were just wobbling, uh, but the back tires performed perfectly fine. So, but other than that, it worked exceptionally well. Navigated the uh, speed bumps here in my, in my driveway and took turns and everything. It, it, it performed uh, according to expectations. So that's the trailer for the runabout. Uh, so when I'm uh, wherever I'm at, I'm no longer restricted to just uh, short walking distances from the marina or the marina itself with this trailer in my trusty runabout. Uh, I have an extended range to be able to travel. Um, the difference in marina fuel to a regular gas station fuel can be a dollar or a dollar fifty a gallon. So this will allow me to take my gas cans to a regular gas station and put fuel in them and save tremendous amounts of money. And it will allow me to go to grocery stores. I have a choice. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching about the Runabouts trailer.